Hello everyone and thank you for joining today's MyMath training session. My name is Tiffany Butters and I'm just going to be recapping what we covered in today's session for you to be able to keep for your reference. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the MyMath primary site. So this is the page that you'll come to when you enter www.mymath.co.uk in the URL bar. So we're going to log in and have a look at the primary website. Okay, so this is the page you're taken to when you enter um, your whole school login. So as you can see, the resources are navigated along the left-hand side of the platform, and they're broken down into number, measurement, geometry, and statistics. So the resources that are available on MyMass are formatted as interactive online lessons, as well as homeworks, games, and booster packs. Just one thing to point out up here, we do have various different curriculums loaded to MyMath. So we've got the classic MyMath, the National Curriculum English, Curriculum for Wales and Curriculum for Excellence. So as you can see, I have mine set to National Curriculum English, but by default, when you first subscribe, it will always set to classic MyMath. So I'll explain slightly later how you can change this for the whole school. Okay, so we're going to log into the Assessment Manager which is the teacher's area only. So within this area, it's where you carry out all of your MyMath administration, reporting of the people's usage on, web, on the website, you allocate homeworks and activities, and also view homework and activity results. So this is the page you're taken to when you first log into the Assessment Manager. As you can see, you brought onto the Allocation tab. There is also a Results and Admin tab. So we're just going to click on the Admin tab because this is where you can upload all of your students to the MyMass website. So there's two main ways that you can create all of your pupils to access MyMass. There's the Create New Class option, which is just you enter the name of your class. It will then create the class. You need to click into the class and select the Create New Student option, which will then ask you to enter the first name, the last name, and also the curriculum that you want them to follow. So you would need to do that for each pupil, which we are aware can be quite time consuming. So although it might be a handy tool if you've got a pupil that started later on in the year, it's not really ideal for when you first do all of your upload onto the MyMath website. So what we advise is to select the download spreadsheet template option. This will then produce a CSV file, which is broken down into class, forename and surname. So you just need to enter all of the details to the CSV file. You save it to your desktop and you then select the option of import a spreadsheet. You then find the spreadsheet on your desktop and import it, and it will then create usernames and logins for all of the pupils onto the MyMath website so that they all have their own individual login and password. So one other thing that you can do from the screen is you can tick the box next to the name of the class and select the generate parents letter option. This is a really, really handy tool. It will produce a mail merge which will produce a letter then that can be sent home to the parent of each pupil with the pupil's login and password details and also how to get up and running on my maths. There's also the option which is export selected class as spreadsheet. What this does is it will produce um, a really simple Excel spreadsheet which will have all of the pupils in your class along with all of their login and passwords which is really handy for the teachers to be able to keep if the pupils forget their login and password details. A common question that I always get asked by um, parents is, does MyMath run on an iPad? Because that's what they have at home. Just to let you know that MyMath is iPad compatible. However, you do need to download a free educational app called Puffin Academy. So it's a free and secure app that will allow the pupils to access the MyMath website on their iPad. So it might be something that you want to pop on to the parents' letter when you send that home. Okay, so once you click into your class, you'll then be taken to the screen that shows all of the pupils along with their login and password details and the curriculum that they're currently following. So within this area, you can select the box next to student name and select the set curriculum option. As I said, it's broken down into four different national curriculums. So the first one is Classic MyMath, which is an agnostic view that displays the resources in line with the way that MyMath used to be structured before we relaunched the platform. We have retained it as it's popular with some of our long-serving customers. It's what they're familiar with, so we do keep it on there. National Curriculum English, as you can imagine, this is our most popular curriculum that schools select as it's current and it arranges the resources by year group. We've also then got Curriculum for Wales for our Welsh schools, which is in line with the Welsh curriculum. Uh, we are aware that this is going to be changing in 2018 and we will be mirroring this change on my maths. And then we've got the curriculum for excellence, which is aligned with the Scottish curriculum. 
So that's how you can change it for each class. Now, obviously, if you wanted to change it for the whole school, we can do that as well. So you just need to select the admin and just go back a level to all classes. And then select this change button here in the subscription details box. And then up here, as you can see, there's school curriculum and you can change it to whatever you like. And this will then set it for the whole school so that every time they log in, that's the view that they see of what you've set for um, that curriculum. Okay, so in today's session, we had a quick look at the short multiplication online lesson and homework. So I'm just going to pull that up so that we can have another look at it. So um, as you may already be aware, we do have um, a, an extra line of text on some of the lessons, which is actually a direct correlation to the curriculum objective. You can identify these on each lesson, so it'll have this extra line of text along with the vertical line next to it. So I'm just going to launch the lesson so we can have a quick look. So this is the page that you're always first taken to, which is the index page. So it says what's covered on each page of the online lesson, as well as the objective of the lesson. So we just click on page one. So this is a recap of a familiar method that pupils already know. And we then just show clear examples. Page two. This will then show the formal method of calculations that the curriculum now emphasises. And what we do is we show a step-by-step -step process um, of how this needs to be laid out. Page three is a scaffolded page that guides pupils step-by-step -step through the process of short multiplication. So the questions are randomised, so but they will always be um, multiplied two digits by one digit. Okay. Page four, so this is a your turn page which means it gives the pupils a chance to practice um, what they know. So they're often used on the interactive whiteboards and they can be used as a tool to practice at home. Page five, so this will be, um, is actually very similar to page two, um, however it's moving on to the next level, so we're starting to introduce three digits. Page six, so this is once again scaffolded, the same as page three, and the questions will be randomised on the page as well. Page seven, this is a your turn page again, so it allows um, pupils to have a, a lot more practice and it follows the same layout as page four, so it's something that they're already familiar with. Page eight, we then move on to a new practice where the theory is the same, but you have to match the correct answer with the question, so this is good to be able to show the pupils different approaches. Page nine is a page where you then take all of your learning and put it into a context that is unfamiliar. However, the pupils will still be using the familiar concept that they know. So again, the questions are randomised. They offer a lot of practice for all of the pupils. OK, so that's the lesson. That's an overview of the lesson. Um, every school uses the lessons different. Every time we speak to them, they say um, that they use it in a different way. A lot of teachers use it for pre-learning, sort of as the opening for a lesson. Some pupils use the Your Turn pages to encourage interactive learning with the pupils, and some will use the interactive whiteboards as it can then be used for group learning and offers the opportunity for deeper questioning. MyMath is an excellent supplementary resource for teachers. You know, one of its key features is that it so, sits so comfortably alongside any sort of other resources or schemes that your school might currently be using. And its aim is to support teaching and will help in the development of mastery for pupils by offering them varied practice opportunities. OK, so that's an overview of the online lesson. So we're just going to launch the online homework now and have a look. So here they can either log in with their own individual login and password if they're just attempting to do this homework um, for fun. If they, it's been set for them, once they've logged into that portal, it will automatically bypass this page and just take them straight into the homework. Okay, so as you can see, the layout is very familiar to what we've seen on pages three and seven of the online lesson. So they just, page one, they will just enter their, their answers. And it's, it's really, really good because, you know, the way that it, it marks the results is brilliant. So as you can see here, it tells you what the correct answer was. So um, it does give some sort of level of feedback um, for, for the pupils. Uh, it's always randomized, so they cannot cheat. They cannot write down the answers, because the next time they log in, it will be a different set of questions. But that is also great, because it gives so much practice for pupils that they're always randomized. Every time they log in, it will be a new challenge for them. OK, so page question two is very familiar to page nine of the lesson. So it allows the pupils to take their learning, put it into a context. 
Um, and as you can see, we also encourage you to use a pen and paper for your working out, as we're aware that this is what they'll be doing in, in class and also in tests. You then press the Mark It button, and it will ask you to check out. Once they click the Check Out button, it means that the results are all then sent back to the assessment manager for the teachers to be able to view. And it will then give them a quick summary of how well they've done on the homework. Okay, so as well as the short multiplication homework, as you can see, we also have more short multiplication, we have short division, we have long division, um, all lessons and homeworks, which means we do have a full coverage of the whole curriculum throughout the MyMaths website. As well as all of the online lessons, homeworks and games that the pupils have access to on MyMaths, we also have the booster packs. So these are brilliant. The booster packs have online lessons, online homework, and also online worksheets to help learn about specific areas, as well as specific revision lessons. So Key Stage 1 is um, one of the booster packs that we've not long launched. So it's often set for Year 2 pupils at the end of Year 2, just before they sit their SATs, as it's got great sample SATs practice. So each worksheet will address a particular aspect of the national curriculum, and will then give a more summative view of the progress the pupils have made of the new curriculum. Just worth pointing out as well, we are also going to be creating a year three, four and five booster pack, which means we'll have excellent summative assessment coverage of the whole of key stage two. Okay, so times tables, as I am sure that you are aware, in 2017, the government will be releasing a new on-screen times table test for year six students. So, we do have a vast amount of times tables, lessons and homeworks from 2 to 12, as well as mixed tables, which will be excellent for your pupils to use um, to practice at home. We will produ be producing these into a booster pack, so they will sit alongside the left-hand side of the screen here so that it's easy for the pupils to find the um, times tables boosters. One thing to point out is that the pupils do enjoy doing the, you know, the quick summative answers. But also, we have a beat the clock activity, which pupils really do enjoy. So it's particularly good, and the pupils often enjoy the beat the clock element, as it's a really popular tool for helping children develop fluency and rapid recall of the times table in a fun environment. Okay, we do also have a lot of other games on the website. and um, We've got the more traditional games, such as drafts and pairs to games, such as beat the clock, which is what I've already showed you on the online homework. So, again, these can be used as a great start or preliminary activity for the teachers um, to use to help engage the pupils in the lesson. They can also be accessed at home for the pupils to um, try at home, which is great just to get their, their interest. Okay, so back to the assessment manager. So, within this area, we can show you also how to set homeworks. So, if you just click into the class that you want to set a homework for, in the allocation page. So you need to make sure you're in allocation for setting homework. So I've now clicked into my class, and then it gives you the option here to set a task. So you can just select what national curriculum you want it from, select the area that the homework sits, select the name, and then you can select the dates that you want to set it. Press set and continue, which means it will then set this homework and allow you to set another homework, or just press set and it'll just set this one homework and take you back to the assessment manager page. So what happens then is when the pupils log in, it will appear on their portal that they have this homework to complete, and they can click a link that will take them straight through to complete the homework. Okay, so that's everything to cover in today's uh, session. It was just a quick overview of what we covered, and so you can keep this for your reference to look back on if you have any questions. Alternatively, you can, of course, contact us on 01536. 452970, um, which is the MyMath dedicated team that will be able to answer any questions that you have. You can also email us at mail at mymaths.co.uk where we'll be able to get back to you with any questions that you might have from today's session. Okay, thank you very much for listening.